Hello, everybody. Welcome. Oh, hang on a minute. I need to turn, I need to get rid of that. There we go. Lovely. For those on audio, I had something out that shouldn't have been out. For those on video, <laughs> oops, sorry. Anyway, welcome to the Marvel Car Collectors Podcast. My name is Ian Taylor, and joining me this week is Jason. Hello. Is Wesley. Hey, yo. Is Josh. What it is. And Keith is with us in spirit, always. Um, I don't know where Keith is. But maybe he's, he's still maybe at the Chesney concert. He said that, yes. Yeah, he's still doing so. Maybe he's in this box of Marvel <laughs> Beginnings Volume Two, <laughs> Series Two. In fact, if, <laughs> if we open this up and Keith springs out, I don't know who'll be more amazed, uh, Keith or me, um, or the wife, because we'll have to put up an American man, um, uh, all of a sudden, <laughs> which would be really weird. Um, how you doing, guys? You all right? <laughs> it's been so long since Good, we spoke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Um, what can I say? What can I say? So the episode that we recorded on Friday, we can't talk about yet. No. Because I don't know when it's going to broadcast. And it might broadcast after this. So we can't talk about it. But <laughs> I'll tell you what I did do on Friday that was exciting. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I opened this box. So I thought I'd just have a look at what I pulled. Um and um, if I go to card cam, oh. there we go. So those of you on um, on YouTube um, are having the best day ever. Um, those of you who are on audio, tough. Um, right, hang on a minute. Let me let me make that. So I, I don't know how to drive this thing. How do I do that? You, you've got an option to ban from studio. You can kick from studio, but you can also ban from studio. What's that all about? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Is that what happened, Keith? Yeah. So, <laughs> I, I'm, so I'm trying to figure out how to do this so that it's got us all down the side of card cam. I don't want a spotlight layout. Who do I want on spotlight? Uh, okay. I want that one on spotlight. Card cam. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, no, how can I get that? That's weird. I want us to be down the side of the screen. This is brilliant listening for people. Um, right, let's do spotlight layout. And can I rotate who's on the spotlight? No, I can't. Or can I? <gasps> yes, I can click and drag like that. There we go. Beautiful. Marvelous. Anyone would think that I've not done this before. <laughs> right. Okay. So we have, what did I pull from this box? Um, it was a pretty cool box, actually, I have to say. Um, i tell you the weirdest thing. Josh, I know you haven't opened one of these yet, have you? Correct. Will happen. It will happen. Um, it's the size of the wrappers. It just mm -hmm. freaks me out. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I know you're a wrapper guy. You, yeah, but you could affix these to a mast and sail around the harbour. Um, they are pretty... <laughs> it's, a soul, pretty it's a solar pretty. sail. Yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a lot of foil. I mean, yeah. I don't know if you can recycle these. But if not, this will be in the belly of a turtle in 20 years' time. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I feel. I mean, I love a good rapper, so um, that's yeah. Um, so yeah, I got. Um, I'm just going to whiz through them very quickly. Um, got a multiple man, which was pretty cool. So these are the base. Uh, or are they? No, they're not. No, they're gold. Gold. Apologies. This is gold. Apologies. Mm -hmm. um, there we go. Um, multiple man. Uh, I got an ice man. Uh, I got dead. This one looks really cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's wow. just you just you just don't mm -hmm. get the U and the R on this on the card. And this and one, my daughter has um has, has snagged. So <laughs> even though I want it, I want it. Um, so so yeah, she actually she actually asked if 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 I pulled that specifically. Um, I, I'm genuinely unsure which way I'm going to go with collecting this set because I do want to collect some element of it because mm -hmm. it's physically very impressive mm -hmm. and it's yeah, look, art. Look at uh, Xavier over Emma's yeah. Emma's shoulder there. Yeah. I never even. Oh well, yeah. I've I never, never even saw that portrait. Never yeah. saw that painting. Look at him looking at a dirty bastard. Uh, yeah. So I tell you the one, and Wesley, you'll appreciate this because I know you pulled a different one of these. The Battle Spectra. This is oh. the Battle Spectra gem. It's just oh, the Battle wow. Spectra. Look how nice that is. Yeah. Yeah. It's That's just, great. I mean, look at that. 
Isn't that yeah, gorgeous? One of these uh, galleries or the battle specters, even gem or not, mm. um, I'm going to get my hands on one and put it into a nice display. So this, collecting these, I think is going to be my route. That's uh, a great idea. These, um, and I think I might go for the art that was on tier four, but just on a silver unnumbered, because mm -hmm. I don't have. I mean, I think I've got two purple tier four. Um, I think I've got Mephisto and Doom. Now, Doom, I don't think is in this set. I can't remember now. I don't think all in twenty sixteen. Yeah, no, in um, in XL. Um... I can't remember. I th anyway, think uh, so. it's, it's weeks since I looked at the, looked at the spreadsheet. Uh, checks it checklist. Um, I got a, a gold um, what if, uh, which is lovely. But this is this was the hit. Mm -hmm. Speckle, wow. beautiful of ninety nine. Nice. <clears throat> nice. Um, so this one I will be parting with um, to yeah. get to get because I don't. I, <sighs> I mean, they're better at this scale, but I still don't like how pixelated the image gets with this effect, mm -hmm. um, which is why I didn't dig them when they first came out. So um, I did pull a regular holofoil of Dr. And those, those are pretty nice. The image isn't very yeah. – that's, see, that's sharp. Yeah, this, see, this I, I like. So these, yeah. Yeah. so these I'm going to go for as well. There you go. Yeah. And the 2016 go Battle Spectres are the best of the bunch. Yeah. The, the, so they are. I'm going to go for – um and yeah i you know, i got some nice what ifs um mm -hmm. it was definitely a mysterio box oh what i got oh, that's I got a canvas. good one yeah that's um so i i think i'm gonna go for canvas i'm not sure mm -hmm. i might not i might just go for the shiny because the thing mm -hmm. is with the canvas i want the daredevil the daredevil like the canvas one. has got such small detail in the background the, oh yeah in a larger size it would just be amazing and if i just had one of them i think i'd feel a bit yeah so yeah but of, of the all the ones to pull man that's know, awesome that's a good one but it's so um it's much more vibrant than the smaller canvas as well it's just mm -hmm. it's lovely um and yeah, I got so I got some Fing Fang Foom. So it's Fing Fang Foom and Mysterio with the kind of common themes in that you know, I know one one of us had Kazar loads. Was that you, Leslie? Yeah. 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 Um But that, that card was amazing. Yeah. All the, I mean all the artwork on that Kazar card is just insane. So I think that I like these. I just don't think I want to build the set. Because that's a lot of cards this size. Right. And I've got the two pocket ultra pages for them so i could bind them up mm -hmm. but i also kind of i'm not sure if i want to i think this set sets it's up little... well for for doing what exactly what you're talking about yeah, finding a I couple think... of your favorites and, yeah. and go that route you could probably put three or four up pretty nice yeah, yeah. and not and not destroy a bunch of real estate that, in your that's your... a good one to hit yeah, exactly. yeah that... so and that's the thing right. i think i'll probably put a post up with, with most of these for trade um and see if I can knock out some of the canvas and battle and holofoil. Yeah. Um, which is nice. Now, one thing I did get, which is coming up, uh, Tiger Shark. See, and that's the thing. I was looking at it and thinking, I'm not sure I can handle some of the deep cuts. I mean, it's beautiful artwork. I just don't like this card. <laughs> it's because I don't yeah. care for the character. Yeah. Does that sound? Does that sound yeah. off? Yeah. Um, anyway, another Mysterio. I told you it was a Mysterio. I like the Mysterio. Yeah, yeah that, that Mysterio is. That's it's a killer card. Look at all that action in it. Such a yeah. good image. And, and it's this, got a Spidey um, on it. So. Detail. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Um, Luke Cage. So yeah, I got I got two versions of Luke Cage. I got mm. another Miles. Love, that. Love it. Um, that's wow. Stunning. That's nice. <laughs> That's stunning. Mm -hmm. But that's the thing. I'm not sure I want the... I, having said that, I, I said I'm not sure I want the what-ifs. But as I think one of you guys pulled this. I think you pulled this one, mostly. Yeah. It's a proper front cover. Look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Look how good it looks. Yeah. Oh, it's Bronze Age all, all over the all over again. That is stunning. Um, that, that, one's, that one's a hammer. That looks like a cover, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, and, yeah. yeah. Dr. Octopus. Nice. So I, it's quite a what-if heavy box. 
actually. Yeah. I've got a lot of what ifs. But that's the that's the tier four. Okay. I like so that. You get, you get your that. surfer, you get your surfer in the corner there. Yeah, if I can trade that for a for a, you know, for a silver version, the unnumbered silver, because this is just a an unnumbered what if. You know, they're not numbered. So this is kind of a base what if. So yeah. in this product, they sh there shouldn't be any less than you know, a what if of Mysterio, for example. Um, yeah. But I want to trade it for a silver base, which again are unnumbered. So there should be exactly the same number as those as a base tiger shark. So, um, but the thing is, there'll probably still be a premium for the ones that were tier four in the 2016 set. So, right. yeah. Um, Nova. See, again, that's a proper comic cover. Look at that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, these two. These two. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Look That's... at them. Mm -hmm. I want to back them up a bit. They're so big. <laughs> yeah, um, really cool. So it's it's deeply impressive as mm -hmm. boxes go. I mean, it's you, you're just. I think as, as I said on the live feed, I I think it's it demands it demands attention. You can't not pay attention to every single card. Yeah, um, and that's not a bad thing at all. So yeah. So yeah. Anyway, Josh, I'm I'm dying to know what how you get on with yours because I know you're jonesing, and I know this. Is oh yeah, yeah. This is my sweet. thing. So, so, yeah. Um, so yeah. I'll um, I'll and be very excited for that. My target had blasters of it. Um, so. Yeah, I went and ch as soon as I saw your post, Jason. Well, I I show what you got. Sure, not yeah, as exciting. And oh, I will wow. tell everybody the blasters. Um, it's. Forty dollars, and you get two packs. So right. That was the thing I was gonna. I was gonna say is that I, I got one blaster too, and it was seemed like it was expensive. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess so you're gonna pay more for the, the wrapper. I try to salvage them, but the wrappers are are different color, same same mm. imagery, but you know, purple not, and yellow. Not the foil. So I got everybody's favorite. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Azar. Another base of Ultron. I like it. It's pretty cool. And then I got What If. Oh, wow. You got the same one as me. Nice. Yeah. I like this image. Uh, this What If with Adam, Adam Warlock. Warlock. Yeah. yeah. And then an, in, an interesting character, uh, canvas. Ooh, or canvas just do really. So, Ian and I talked about this when he's this well is going to. If you want to collect canvas, I can put this in the Ian pile. Well, yeah, put it in the Ian pile. And if you want a Miles Morales, is it Miles Morales? No. Um. N uh. N no. Miles I may be interested right. in. I may be interested in Mysterio. Ah, okay. Well, I've got the base and the what if, so whichever okay. one you want, just shout. And then gold oh, foil of uh, Kitty. Nice. That is beautiful. Let's see, what do they... Oh, yeah, they call her Kitty Pride on this one. Yeah, because, so, like, I'd like this card in the base so I could get a Lockheed without any interruption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. There's probably about half a dozen base that i would go for to get the art uninterrupted mm -hmm. um and it's just a question at that point as to whether you prefer gold or silver foiling i it's, i i love having a chance for me this is where it is I, I obviously marvel masterpieces is my and i always the very first thing i did collecting marvel masterpieces was a was an entire set of uh gold signature and i because the aesthetics of it it presented really well the gold foiling yeah. with with LED backgrounds and lights and stuff like that, but the fake signature ruined the par the, the parallel. It, it always has, um, even when it was uh, Bianchi or anybody else. And later on, it's just not for me. A fake signature on these cards is a waste of a parallel, waste of you know, because yeah. that's another insert we would get. And yeah. the gold foiling, there was nothing wrong with it. The the name of the character in gold and the trim. It, 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 it was sharp. It had potential, but not with some giant, um, you know, printed signature over the over the middle. Of it. So yeah. now, 
here we go. Now you get a chance to collect a couple of cards in the gold without having a, you know. Massive signature across the middle. Yeah, no, I get that. I mean, I know why they did I mean, they did it for two reasons. A, because it was done in the 90s and they were wanting to kind of throw back to that, you know, the Hildebrand set, the yeah. three Ultra Spider-Man 95 set. You know, they had gold uh, foil um, stick, uh, signature series. Um, but also because it's an unnumbered thing. It you know, makes the product go further. You know, so without mm -hmm. it, you would have had a lot fewer boxes oh, at the right. end of the day. So I get it. You know, I get why they did it. Um, but I mean, the only one I went in for big time was the um, 2018. I actually built a full gold signature set, including tier four. Okay. Because um, I wanted a full, my first goal for that set was a full gold set. Mm -hmm. So I had all the gold galleries as well. Number nice. 29, which I've subsequently sold. Um, and now I'm kind of wishing I hadn't. But that said, they did pay for a significant chunk of my holiday <laughs> to the USA. Yeah. In 2022. <laughs> so what are you going to do? You know, I've, I've had an experience that I, you know, I can't take back. Um, but yeah, they, they were astonishing. Um, but yeah, I see what you mean. I mean, of all of them, I, I couldn't do, no disrespect to Dave Palumbo, but Dave Palumbo's signature is, is, is um, <clears throat> not as exciting to me personally as Simone mm -hmm. Bianchi's. So Simone Bianchi oh, sure. is, right. is, is, is a gorgeous and, thing to look yeah, at. Yeah, and, and that's fair. <clears throat> Joe's is, is okay. Dave's is a bit like, eh. um, right. and and Dan DeSantis is signature. I'm also a bit, eh. So, you know, I, I get it. If you don't like the the signature, it's the card, it kind of kills the card for you. Um, and, and you can fit in without it. You can fit in the green parallels. You can fit in, uh, well, yes. you know, some of these other new ones that we look at and they're beautiful. You know, mm -hmm. it's just another version of the, so. Exactly. Exactly. Um, right. Shall we, shall we open this box of Marvel beginnings, volume two, series two trading cards? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I need to ask you a question first guys. Okay. Are you over 14? Because yeah. <laughs> so. it says, it says, it says on here. This is going to be graphic. <laughs> it says on here, folks. This is. It says on here, fourteen plus. Mm -hmm. look, look. So this is the point where I'm supposed to check your ID before you come on the podcast, <laughs> right? Uh, let's get in. Um, so I normally do these on Instagram, but I quite like doing these for the podcast because I think it's just nice that we open it and we kind of have, you know, our, yeah, you know, kind of fresh reactions to it. I guess. I think. Yeah. I agree. Um, yeah. So, um, so yes, let me just slide that along there. And I've got the checklist in case we want to see check ratios or anything. Good, because like I have done that research. Prepared. There we go. Let's peel that off and let it fall to the floor in a rather alluring manner. You did that in a much uh, a much softer way than I did mine, didn't you? <laughs> I just, well, like... you know, uh, Wesley, that's the difference between you and me. Um, right, let's, 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 let's open this. Oh, I've ripped the box. Oh, uh, see, box. you were you were talking. Yeah, yeah, talking. yeah, you're calling me shot. Calling me shot. And I muffed it. That's always the thing. Is it a typical bloke? Can't do two things at the same time. Um, right, let me just. Fold that down there because that's what I want to do. All right, let's start out here. We've got a storm on the um, wrappers. I, I I dig that image. I'm not going to lie. No, that's awesome. I, that's, that's a, that's a, that, that's a classic you... '90s storm. Yeah, like classic, yeah. true arcade. Yeah, Jim I Lee? tell you what, this has reminded me. I've decided what I'm going to do with the um, X Men '97 pack that people may or may not have seen us open. Because <laughs> I can't remember if no, we haven't put that episode up yet. No, but no. um I'm going to go for the silver and gold just of the lineup card, the top card. So that I've got examples of those foilings. Because it's yeah. crazy to well, I think you can try a silver set, but <laughs> someone's just completed a gold set in, in the group. And I, I think saw that. A, yeah, I think it was a long journey for him. Um because they're like one in six packs or something like that. So right. Um, and a lot of people will be going after that. So, yeah, so I'm just going to go for the lineup. So, no, just reminded me of the 97 X-Men. Right, let's go in. Um, so there are nine cards a pack, and there are 15 packs. Um, I know that Black Cat is in here on the micro motion, and I know he's she's in here on the glitz and glam. Um, 
and of which there are two versions, Glitz and Glam Regular and Glitz and Glam Gold. Did you know that, Wesley? I uh, <clears throat> I didn't know that, but I wasn't sure if uh, yeah, what the ratio was. So the Glitz and Glam Gold, I believe, is a one is a case hit. So I've seen some of those coming up from sellers in China. Um, I've only seen one black cat one listed, and I'm um, it, it it went. Um, but I've got the regular one on the way. Right, let's have a look. So usual kind of vibe. Um, lots of lots of deep cut characters here. I've never heard of eel, whoever that is. Um, I've no idea where my hits are supposed to be, so I'll probably do some base cards and then I'll go to the back. So eel. Uh, who's that? Scourge. So I, I really like the base designs on mm. on the beginnings. It's just nice, clean, mm. white border. Yeah, they are nice. Absolutely. I They've agree. Got a nice bit of foil there as well. Some and then the silver around. upper deck logo. I like mm. it. Yeah, it is. It's clean. It's neat. And the backs, the backs have got the same old kind of timeline vibe going on. Yeah. There, which is actually quite interesting. Um, I like the uh, actually the card cam looks really good like this too like in fr in front of you like that I think that's yeah good yeah you can see it really well yeah yeah it's fine I'm just having to look around it which is making my back ache something chronic um, right karma um, and then I'm going to go to the back so we finish the base moonstone oh look at that Hello. right I yeah wow so having watched some Avengers metal openings I think that's the same image on the Avengers metal. Oh really? That's yeah. interesting. Okay, I'm gonna put Don't quote me on that, but I, I it, it looks familiar. Okay. Put the base on there, right? It's a good image, though. It is. Jolt. I, I can honestly say I don't think I've heard of any of these characters so far. <laughs> they do that in the beginnings. They do that a little bit. Yeah, I yeah. know. And it's a, you know, if listen, I mean, we know that we may or may not, depending on if the rumors are true, see a beginnings volume two set free i don't know but it's a deep bench yeah mm -hmm. it's a deep roster um i wonder can i move everyone to the other side because josh you're, the logo's over your face i'm going to take the logo <laughs> off there we go there, there we go, go. <laughs> like at, atlas holding up the world there. i was having a yeah. jason a little while ago i know i've had it on my shoulder <laughs> but i don't know why it's not putting you guys down the other side can i move you to the other side let's, let's have a look can i move you to the other side no i can't yeah. no it just swaps it around there we go I'm making Josh big and not in the way I'm sure he'd like. Okay. Um, <laughs> Rhino. There we go. We got a character. We, sorry. Uh, we got a character. This, 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 this would be fine for kindergarten if it wasn't for me presenting it. Um, <laughs> Rhino. That's a pretty cool image. That's an I like is. that. I like that. Yeah. Nice. Oh, you got Spidey and somebody else in the background. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And they don't cool. credit the artist on this one. Um, okay. So who knows? Right, so we're going to get something shiny. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Henry Guy Rick, uh, okay. whoever that is. Let's put that yeah, he's there. a X-Men character. Okay, so this is a rainbow, okay? Yeah. That's beautiful. He was it big is. in the, uh, the cartoon series. Oh, okay. I do have like how they put a little bit of the history on the back of each character. Yeah, so I do. Sorry, yeah, I'm just I'm just little... bowled over by this rainbow. Look yeah. at that. Yeah, so like it's that's another one of the things I look for is like what what kind of hollow do they use? What what yeah, patterns? Yeah. What type of and so that one really jumps. Sorry, I've, had put, I've, had put, I've had to put my arm down. It's aching because <laughs> I'm having to hold them up like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, RSI from I can't imagine doing this for hours on end and breaking a whole case. Oh, oh, wow, okay, that's a red Sasquatch. Oh, interesting. Now, is that red numbered? Is... Uh, no, 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 just a red base. Okay, so I'll put that in the pile over there with the reds. Yeah, I think in... red's probably the most common parallel. Yeah, I think it is. And then we've got another red. You learn it below, but now what I like about the reds is that you've got a gold foiling going on. That is a good color combination, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. Another red base. Okay, so there we go. Pack one. Oh, settle in. We're going to be all up. Let me move forward if I can without knocking the card card cam over. Because how many packs are in a box? Fifteen. Okay. <laughs> like I said, settle in. Get the get the get the get the roll away. Um, you're going to be here a while. Now, uh, what are the uh, Jason? Do you, you said you had the the breakdown. What what are the numbers for the 
the breakdown of the parallels? Oh, uh, there's a lot. Um, so oh, for, okay. I didn't, um, yeah. I, red is for hobby, red is one in every 0.75 packs. Basically, it's one a pack, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. At least. Yeah. Um, Blue border is one in two packs. Black border is one in six packs. Rainbow is one in seven oh. and a half. Guys, there's a there's a. I see it. I see, I see the plastic. Okay, oh. so <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Right, I got something to lean my arms on here, so this should be slightly more comfortable. Right, Aries. That's an interesting that. take. I yeah, like the suit with the yeah. I'm yeah. still Aries, but I got business to do. Alpha. <laughs> Spider Man guy. Yeah. Okay, Alpha. what have we got here? We've got Boomerang. That was okay. Spidey. Okay, let's go to That's the back. Good. Corsair, is that? Yeah. Yep. yep. Again, deep character pool. Hang on a minute. My camera's. What's my phone doing? Bear with me. There we go. Uh. uh Triathlon. Okay. Okay, if you insist. Oh, hello. Oh, no. oh, oh nice. bang, bang, a hologram. <laughs> and there's a penny sleeve coming. Wow. Up. Wow. That's wow. Awesome. Look at that. That is a perfect rocket. The gun is, is perfect. Gorgeous. Look at That's that. Nice. <laughs> so many rockets are in different takes from different artists wow. and that one is that one is comic book true to form the gun is right the outfit's right wow that's wow. a that's, okay a hologram oh uh, getting a hologram is beating the old <laughs> wow okay and i love the hologram has the cascading logos you ready all right so what's in the penny sleeve Nice. Printing play of Sun Sunfire. Who's Sunfire? Yeah, he's an X Men character. Yeah. Okay, let's just check out this pack, by the way, guys. We we just hit a hologram, and the very next to it in the pack, pack two, is a printing plate. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> I mean, I guess wow. I heard there's. That looks like one of the flipped effects ones. It is, yes, mm -hmm. which is interesting. Okay. They right were there. E Perfect. They were EPAC. Um, Achievements mm. for Volume One. They were right Series One. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The flipped effects were. So if yeah. they're in the physical packs, mm, okay. Say no more. <laughs> Say no more. Wow. Okay. Sorry, I'm going to go back. <laughs> oh no, we can definitely. Yeah, that's yeah. That's, oh, good. Oh, that's good stuff right there. Oh, oh look at that. They've noticed. those cascading logos in the hollow is yeah. it's really difficult to do. Nailed it. Wow. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's sweet. After this one, we can all go to the pub. Right, uh, a blue uh, void, whoever that is. So he's the hopefully... evil, evil sentry. Yeah, blue base. So hopefully, those on audio only, um, you're getting a flavour of this. But um, if not, uh, head head to YouTube. Um, and oh, interesting, Karma. So we got red, and she was um, the first base that we pulled in pack one. Mm -hmm. So. Good. Okay, let me just get my piles sorted, dear. Right. <laughs> Pack three. Oh, uh, my goodness me. Yeah. I mean, it could all be downhill from there, folks. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, nice. Ooh, yeah, I like that silk, too. That's oh, awesome. Beautiful. Sorry, hang on a minute. Um, I'm having trouble that with special awesome. orientation. Yeah, look at the background. Yeah. That's really, hang on, hang on a minute. I just need to have a look closer. Please tell me Black Cat's not on that background. Oh, she's not on that background. You're no, good. She's on the back either. Good. Okay. Oh, that could have really thrown out my Sunday. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean, don't you? Don't you, Wesley? <laughs> um, who's this then? Uh, Maverick. Okay. Talk to me, Goose. Ooh. You got the whiskey on ready five. Yep. There we go. Uh, Modoc. Wowzers. Look at that. Yeah. Right. Okay. We're going to go to the back. Back of the pack. Uh, Shroud. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Dum Dum Duggan. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That. 
It's a classic oh, look. Yeah, I like absolutely it. Absolutely hammered. Um, we have Spiral. Okay. X Men character. And then uh, you also <clears throat> one thing that I I I, uh, I found out from going through my box the second time is uh, checking the. Uh, do you guys know how to make sure that it's not a? Uh, oh gosh, what are those? Oh, first appearance. Yeah, the first appearance variance. Uh, it's a border thing, that? isn't it? With the, yeah, with the corner the border? Okay. Yeah, I think so. I think it's a black border. I have to remember to keep our eye Oh, heavyweights. heavyweights. No. No. <clears throat> That's mm. really nice. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Good. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get some null pretty soon. Ah, black. Black. <laughs> That black and gold is smart, though. Yeah. I mean, they're beautiful cards, but leapfrog. Wow. Yeah, that's not the, that black face. You, I mean, you gotta you gotta think. Beginnings is one of the only. They have maybe two or three sets that they can do this with with the yeah, character yeah, yeah. pool and go. Yeah. So it's kind of if you're a leapfrog. Yeah. Banshee. There we go. Banshee red base. There we go. Okay. Wowzers. Wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. What a box. What a box. Yeah, I'd be I'd be stoked with that. I'm gonna get one of those rockets for sure. Honestly, if I if I'd been here on my own, I'd have ended the stream and gone and poured myself a a, a drink. Um, <laughs> yeah, and, with the printing plate. Yeah. yeah. Right. Dagger. That's nice. Okay. Alex Wilder. Mm -hmm. Is that a Runaways character, I believe? Yes, yep, Runaways. Uh, we have Reptile. Mm -hmm. And then to the back, we have base Richter. We have base Nightmare. That's cool. That is cool. And we have base Fire Lord. Nice. Okay, I dig it. Then we have the three middle ones. We have a rainbow of shroud. Yeah, it's pretty. Oh yeah. no, it's a flipped FX. Apologies. Mm. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. That's a very kind of platinum machine to that. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay, I'll put that over there because I'm running out of room. And it, and so far, your condition. Excuse me. Condition looks pretty good on these, huh? I know they don't look yeah. warped. They look colored. Oh, they look sharp. Looks to me. So I'm just checking on the base. They have carried on the numbering, I believe. From... Yes. Yes. Yeah, they, they did. Yeah, they have. Right. Okay. At least I think they have. Right. Oh. Wow! Look at that. That Vengeance. looks awesome. Black. They see that's the one you want in a black. With right. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. The the black borders, especially if you get like a character that the coloring matches they yeah. pop that's yeah. lovely look at that that's perfect and finally a red oh, Union well, Jack. that looks good in the red oh yeah yeah that's nice i dig it good right let's put those base over there and uh, we're running out of room so i'm gonna to to put those over there too many hits for too many piles. Mind you, I've got I don't know why I've got a separate pile for hologram and printing plate because the odds of me getting another one. <laughs> oh no, they're, they're coming. In the same pack. <laughs> That's yeah. wild. In the same pack. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, what's the, that holo the holograms are one in one hundred and twenty packs. Um yeah. so yeah, that is uh <laughs> how many boxes is that? Fifteen packs. Yeah, that's one in a uh, in a case. Mm -hmm. In a yeah, so a half case. Uh, that wrapper's knackered. That one's not. There we go. Sorry, I'm just sorting out my wrappers, guys. Um, Vulcan. <laughs> okay. Summer's brother. Um, who's that? It's Baron Mordo. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. We haven't had a third base. Which means there's something extra going on. So we've got a red mole man. So now I'm going to go to the back. And now over to the back of the pack. Spy master. Master pandemonium. Okay. 
Okay, so we've got one less base card. Oh, oh nice. Table. That's nice. Base card. So we've got one less base card in this pack, which means that there are here four parallels and all chase. So we know we've got Mole Man at the front on the red base. We have, oh, Swordsman, Colleen Wing. That's a sharp card. That's nice. That's nice. For some reason, I thought there was going to be some foiling going on there, but no, it's very flat. Yeah. Nice design. Mm -hmm. Can't not design. Uh, and then we have a Rhino Rainbow, by those things. No, oh. Flipped FX, even. Sorry. So that's that's hard to tell FX. apart. Yeah, they are. So let's have Flipped FX. The, the Flipped then... FX is going to usually have the older art. It does. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because that was in the small thing before. Yeah. Let's put that over there. Um, and then we have a blue Speed Demon. Okay, blue base goes over there. And then the red of Mole Man. Wowzers. Okay, now we did pull a base Rhino just now. So let me just find that one because I want to show you the difference between that and the flipped effects. Where's that Rhino gone? Was it a base? It clearly wasn't a base. Oh, you were almost there at that. No, no, no. It wasn't that far back. It was. Oh, I don't know. I'm so confused now. Maybe it was. Maybe it was. Josh, I'll take it. Yeah, I thought I, thought I, well, I just thought I saw it on one of your last cards. Keep going. Keep there going. Is. Right. Okay. Right. So let's have a look at this. Whoa. Card cam almost took a dive. Okay. AKA my phone. Um, <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you so go. Let's pop them around. Yep. So the old image, the old artwork goes main and the new image goes small. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, 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 yay. You all right there, guys? You all settled mm -hmm. in? Yeah. Oh, Pretty yeah. Comfortable? Good. How you doing at home, folks? You all right? Absolutely. <laughs> Good. Um, corruptor. Mr. Fear. Wow. Korvac. That's nice. He had a whole, he had a whole saga named after him. Uh, Thing. Okay. That's cool. Energizer. Ah, oh, Power Pack. Okay. Yeah, they've given them names now. I did enjoy Power Pack. Quite quaint, quite sweet. Oh, hello, Doc Samson. That is a flipped, yeah, flipped effects. It's nice, okay. Put that over there in the flipped effects file. We have, oh, we have an orange, uh, what's this called? Orange Rainbow Bridge, number to 199 mm -hmm. of awesome Android. Awesome Android, okay. See, that's that's beautiful. That's nice, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say we haven't had unnumbered yet. Now we have. Um, we have a red paladin. Cool. Red base. And last card of the pack. <laughs> By beast. Uh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Couple stretches. Also, yeah. yeah, okay. I'm not sure how I feel about Bye Beast. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. He may be a Hulk villain. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I don't know. It's I've a... heard of, I've heard of I've heard of Bye Beast, but Yeah, it's a okay. monster making a statement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a monster that doesn't care. Here he goes home. Right. Um... <laughs> that's, a, you know, that's, that's my power, you know. Like, yeah. right. Twice the odds. Uh Zorn. <laughs> oh my goody aunt. Uh Lady I, Sif. That's cool. Wow, that's a fearsome image for the uh mm -hmm. yep. Just check the back on the base. Uh, Snowbird. <clears throat> and we have Phantom X. Cool. We have Cypher. See, look at the pile of base already. Mm-hmm. 
and we're not even halfway through the box. Super adaptoid. Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, we have uh, Jimmy Wu. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is somehow different. What's this? Yeah, that's it's a black ring. FX Black. Whoa. 13 of 25. Nice. Wow. Wow. Oh, what's going wow. on with this box? Wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That, that is a really nice effect. That's really interesting. Yeah, it's really cool. That. That remind, yeah, it reminds me of the cosmic. It's, wow, because I don't have all of my um, black cat from beginnings volume, uh, volume two series one in hand yet. So I've, I've never, I've, I've got one of these for black cat, but I've, I don't have it. So I've never seen this effect before. That's wow. sharp. Okay, goodness. Okay, two numbered parallels, a printing plate, and a hologram, and we're not yet halfway through the box. Mm -hmm. And I thought platinum was loaded. Uh, Grim Reaper Blue. Yes, there we go. See, I've, I, I I looked at it and I thought, is that purple? So I was starting to think, my goodness me, how many... Oh, eel. Now, we've had eel a base again. of eel before. That's a red base. There we go. Whoa, okay. I'd say you're doing pretty good so far. I, I, yeah, I would say, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's all... Um, it's, it's all cool, isn't it? Um, let's put that. Right. Uh, Trevor Fitzroy. It sounds like the builder that works down the road. Uh, Stegron. Okay. Uh, uh, Agatha Harkness. Harkness. Agatha, Agatha ah, all now, along. you got two weeks until that starts. Yep. yep. I've got to say, well, as we record, yeah, it's uh, something like the 18th, I think, of September. Yeah, she did a, a amazing job in WandaVision. She was... Excellent. So, this kind of Sunfire. That's a good image. Yeah. There's an awful lot of characters that burst into flames in the Marvel Universe. Has anyone ever considered that? Uh, <laughs> yeah. X-Men especially. They, they... Name Marita. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about Name Marita, given my feelings for her husband. Um... <laughs> Is it husband? No. Oh. No, nice. Wow. Ah, right. We got a green. I can't remember the name of this. We'll have a look in a sec. Maximus the Mad. Green mirror. Numbered. Green rainbow mirror world. 61. Oh, what's going 61. on with this box? Jeez. Nice. Okay. Maximus the Mad. I really like the little effect on that. the green. Wow. Look at that green. Yeah. Wow. That is really it's super cool. cool. Look at that, that uh, patterning. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, I've got I've got one from Madam for Madam Hydra from the last set, and I think the green's yeah, yeah, yeah. my favorite. That's amazing. Yeah, and I think, think that's called. Oh. Sorry, you put that with a kid. Go ahead. It's like a nebula foiling, like a yeah. space foil. Yeah, it's brilliant. For those on audio, by the way, the card that we're looking at. Um, if you push the upper deck logo, flames are coming out the side of the card. It's really impressive. Um, so, yeah, get yourself to YouTube to see it. Um, <laughs> and that's what I was going to say is that would look really cool with, with the vehicle really cool. that had that I'm flame. sure someone will make it happen. Uh, Sebastian Shaw, blue base, mm -hmm. um, and a red base of Beak. Beak! Beak! <laughs> Beak. I love Beak's awesome. <laughs> He hangs Beats out with awesome. Iron Man. He's from the he's from the Grant Morrison run of New X Men in the early two thousands. Okay, brilliant. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> this, is like, this is like great, 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 um, great numbered hits. But who are the characters? Uh, <laughs> Crescent. Crescent. Okay. Like a wrench. Uh, Sabra base. Henry Gyrish base. So I think had he's his... going to be in the uh, next Captain America movie. This guy, Sabra, Sabra, the one you. Oh, Sabra! Saw. Oh, the lady. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh... She's an Israeli superhero. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, Jason, superheroine of Israel. Yeah, they. I, there's a few things in that movie they've had to. There's a little bit of controversy, I think. Move, move around, and actors that have gotten swapped out. So Janice Bell, that's the um, that's the Jude Law character from 
Captain Marvel, if I remember correctly. Ah. Um, is it? No, is that, it the, he was. No, um, was the... no that's a, a Jew. I forgot who Jew Law was. Yeah, no, you, I think you're probably you're probably right. I think I'm wrong. I've got no idea, quite frankly. <laughs> I'm not going to try and wing it. Um, Gilgamesh. Okay. Base. Uh, we have Siren. Base. Okay. Cool. Right. Let's get into the juicy middle bit. We have oh, oh hello nice. micro motion wow. fucking name or um, <laughs> perfect but, but it is a banging card it is a banging card it yeah is. those like, micro motions like, name or look at that wow. that is beautiful yeah, what's going on like, behind him too I don't know but I've, I have I have to say these are actually better than the micro yeah. motion from the first the interesting thing about the original volume of beginnings is that the micro motions were different with each set. They had okay. a different design. Because um, Black Cat so, was in two, right? She was in the second. Uh, yes, yes, yeah. Her Most base card was in one, and in and then in series two, she had card B seventy three, which is the break crew issues front cover of Amazing Spider Man one nine four, and she had a mic motion, and then in series three, she had a die cut. Wow! Hello, micro motion. Yeah, that's, nice. that's really cool. Really nicely made. Put that in the hits pile. Yeah. Um, which is getting quite large. Uh, Forge, red base. And we've got another red, Vulcan. Good. Okay. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Jason, you said Vulcan was Hope Summer's brother? Yeah, he's the other, um, he's the third brother. Is Cyclops, Havoc, and Vulcan. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah, Thank so, you. Okay. Um, oh, it was from the mid mid 2000s. There was a mini series called X Men Deadly Genesis. Oh, yes. Uh, that introduces him, written by Ed Brubaker. Very good. And then he showed up later in a, the fall of Rise and Fall of the Shi'ar Empire as the main antagonist. Okay. Crossfire base. Molecule Man base. Good looking art there. Mm -hmm. Baron Mordo Red. Ah, okay. So we've got one less base in this pack. So there's going to okay. be something interesting coming up. We have a Hawkeye base. We have a Viv Vision base. We have a Dr. Druid base. Okay. okay. So I think this is whatever's going to be the extra thing Cosmic Annihilation. Annihilus. Wow. The space background. Yeah. Uh, it would benefit from a tiny bit of foil, but it's lovely. It's... It yeah. looks it's still pretty dynamic. I like this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it looks like the image is on top. It's got some depth to it. Yeah, it's completely flat gloss though. It's not a... one in nineteen packs in the hobby, it looks like. Okay. So one per box if you're lucky. Okay, put that over there. Uh, we have a oh hello illustration board. Now there were a lot more of these in in my box of series one. I think I pulled at least like two at this point. Um, but yeah, no, I dig that. That's good. I really like the look of these. Mm. I really like the look of these. Yeah, they're nice cards. Mm -hmm. That's right. I pulled the black cat. I pulled the black cat one. No, oh, that's cool. This box before. Um, I'm running out. of Piles. The illustration boards are one in five, so you should be pulling at least one more. I'm not going to complain, given what we've hit. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm no, just no, 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 no. exactly what I was going to say. Whatever this no, box is, no, this is fine. We no, can keep riding think, this train. I think you're beating the odds with what yeah. you pulled. They want to. They want to swap out um, an illustration board and slip in a um, a printing plate. Then mm -hmm. I have no issues with that whatsoever. Um, Okay, Jocasta base, Spitfire base. Talk to her. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I was just waiting. I mean, why are you calling Spitfire? Come on. Amanda Sefton. Um, we have a base, Dr. Cecilia Reyes. Uh, we have Maximus the Mad base. Mm -hmm. 
and we have Gorgon base. Okay. And we have another illustration board. Hawkeye. Yeah. Cool. That is cool. I, I do like the illustration boards. Hmm. They must have heard us. Uh, Mass Master. That's another one of the power pack. Red base. Uh, another red base. Dark Star. There we go. Great. Okay. Four packs to go. Four packs. Oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop for a sec because I need to put my arms down. I also need to have a drink. <laughs> my arms I are mm. <clears throat> uh, like yeah. what, what's in the bottle? Mm. Good question. I love it. I love how you're I'm having a drink and part of the format of this podcast is audio. And you ask me a question that means there's a pause while I finish drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than talking about yourselves. Yes, it's um, it's um, it's um, absent. I'm going to be oh. absolutely <laughs> about thirty seconds. The, the, the green fairy is going to join us. The green fairies. The green, fairies. I think the green fairies already been here. Um, no, it's um, it's just um, an electrolyte. Um, oh, okay. Thing in water. Blonde phantom. Hello. Interesting. <laughs> Blonde phantom. What's her history? Nineteen forty nine forty six. Okay. Of course, she's been around. She came out of retirement in 1989 to aid She-Hulk. Cool. Mm. Uh, seriously, I, 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 that's a lovely card. That's yeah. a lovely card. Uh, Foggy Nelson, base. Uh, oh, okay, so we've got a red base, long shot, which means we've got something extra in this pack. So we're going to go to the back. And here's Charlie27 with the sports uh, base. <laughs> and uh, then we have uh, Dark Hawk. Cool. Base. Nice. That's a nice Dark Hawk. It is. That is a really sharp. That character doesn't get enough justice there. That's that sweet. Well, this is this in this set. He has multiple parallels. So, Dark Hawk fans rejoice. Uh, clear. That's a nice. I really like the inset image of, mm. of the yeah. um, older one. That would look nice on a flipped effect. Yeah. Okay, we have. It's shiny. It's a rainbow. flipped FX, I think, or it could be a rainbow. Ra no, it's yeah. a rainbow. You're right. Of crossfire. So putting them next to flipped FX, how much difference is it? Is just the texturing? Yeah, this one's um, got that rainbow effect. This one's more of a platinum with texture. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. You see? Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, right. Oh, my arms. Right. <laughs> now we have another illustration board of Spiral. Cool. That's nice. I do like that uh, image. Yeah, we have Happy Hogan Blue and the Red Long Shot we've already seen. So there we go. Let's put that over there. Let's put that over there. And let's put that over there. Right, three packs to go. <laughs> it actually felt like it's gone rather fast with all the hits, probably. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> White Rabbit. <laughs> White Rabbit. There we go. Oh. Uh, Power Man, just carry on, guys. Just ignore me. Just try and walk that line. Don't, don't literally ignore me. It wouldn't make a very good bit of content. Mm. Uh, Marrow, uh, base, and then we got Mass Master, base, no, pack one. Uh, we have Beak, base, Beak, base. Uh, oh, uh, I like the colors. Coming up. Sasquatch, base. Uh, we so have an orange much. rainbow bridge of Night Thrasher. Okay. Nice. Uh, that's numbered to 199. Okay. It looks, the rainbow bridge looks like the Thor. The, you see the, it looks like the, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Bifrost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Goodness me. Uh, we have Blue Maximus the Mad. He's still just as mad as he was when we saw his base guy just now. Uh, we have Tarantula, uh, cool. red base. Right, last two packs. Last two packs. Will we get any last pack magic? I think we had second pack magic, so I think we're doing okay. Can't complain. No. Vermin. Base. Satana, base. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Know. Yeah. Uh, Dark Beast. Uh, oh, we're 
go to the back. M plate. Nice okay. bit of Generation X action. Ooh. We have Sebastian Shaw. We have Speed Demon. And then in the middle, we have a oh, Storm Ooh. Micro Motion. Nice. Look at that. Wow. That is beautiful. That's that is lovely. That's awesome. such a cool image. That's nice. That makes up for that name, R. It, it does, yeah, more than makes up for the name, or, um, which is actually already been burnt. Um, <laughs> I, I'm kidding you, of course. <clears throat> it's been shredded. Um, we have M plate blue. Oh, it's an M plate pack. Okay. Uh, and Bengal. Nice. Bengal from Cincinnati, don't you know? <laughs> uh, red base. Right, last pack, last pack. Last pack. Magic. What is the last pack? What will be inside it? Sketch. Comic cut. <laughs> another another plate. Yeah. Twenty dollar bill folded up. Um toe. One, of one, one of one Neymar. Let's go. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Even I'd take that. Uh, vengeance base. <laughs> um Mr. Knight base. Uh, Doctor Voodoo base, cool. Mojo base, Airwalker base. Ooh, Beyonder! Oh, God. oh God's God, God's Marvel Beyonder! Look at that. <clears throat> okay, hello. Kind of dig the Beyonder. It takes me back to the. Whole secret secret wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, way overpowered. An omnipotent beings insert set. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Isn't this hobby fucking great? Yeah. An impotent, yeah. an uh, inopotent, impotent, impotent beings <laughs> insert. <laughs> Hopefully, they can figure some things out. Yeah, yeah hopefully they can yeah. figure some things out. Um, Omnipotent. We have, yeah, that too. Uh, Madam Mask, okay. red base. Uh, we have a Scourge, red base. And that, ladies and germs, is all she wrote. Nice. Right, I'm going to have a little recap here. Um, we have a considerable stack of base. Wow, okay. And that's why there's so, you know, because it's such a big set. That's why you get so many cards in the box. Um, right, so there's my base. Then red base was at least one per pack, sometimes two. Mm -hmm. um, and that is there. So just to give you an example of red base versus the number of blue base that we got. Over double in terms of <laughs> volume. Um, so we've got the blue base there. Then we have a couple of black base. That was that a sweet. amazing. Yeah, that's a the black base is a yeah, so the black I can see a lot of people getting that. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, that, those are real. I like those a lot. Uh, we had a couple of rainbow base, mm -hmm. uh, Crossfire and Henry Gyrick. And just look at the just look at the rainbow. Oh, it's lovely. It's really nice. A um, couple of those, and we had a couple of flipped effects. No, no, three flipped effects. In fact, mm -hmm. we had Shroud. We had Rhino and we had Doc Sampson. Let me just triple check. They're all just regular flipped effects. They are. Okay. Right. And then we had illustration boards. We had three of these. We had Spiral. We had Hawkeye. And we had Paladin. Okay, so stick that there. See, look at this beautiful display I'm putting it on. <laughs> nice. Um, and then these are the kind of the one per box chasey things, aren't they? Yeah, so God's God is one, one in 19. Okay. Cosmic Annihilation. That's Annihilation. one in 19. And Swordsman Colleen Wing. Uh, my pen died. I think that's maybe one in 19 also. <laughs> and then the last one of those is the heavyweights those are one and nine okay 
And then we're going to look at the two micro motions, if I can find them in the pile. There we go. So we've got two micro motions. And they are just beautiful. Yeah. Right, really those nice. are awesome. I haven't seen that storm before. It does, that looks amazing. Yeah, that yeah, does yeah. look good. Uh, two micro motions. Uh, we've got two orange bridge, number two, 199. Uh, we got Night Thrasher, an awesome Android. So two of those. And then we got, wowzers, we got a green. Um, what's the name of that again? Green Rainbow Mirror World, numbered 43 of 61 of Maximus the Mad. He looks especially mad with that green effect. Look at that. <laughs> and for those on audio, there's green flames coming out the side of the car when I press the Upper Deck logo. Um, we have a black, number 225. Uh, that is a black flipped FX, 13 of 25 of Jimmy Woo. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That's that really cool. nice. That's really nicely done. It's kind, kind of understated. Um, we have Maybe a printing is, plate, yeah. a, uh, a flipped FX printing plate of Sunfire. <laughs> Who's Sunfire, guys? Anyone? X X Men character. X Men character. Okay, yeah, good. that looks like that may be. I don't know when his first appearance was, but I know he was definitely in the giant size X Men. Um, oh, okay. It, yeah, I mean he's overshadowed by yeah, obviously yeah, yeah. you know those other characters that are featured in there. But. Well, so at the bottom it says you can just see a, a segment of the insert, and it says Stan Lee and Roy Thomas, so that might date it a bit. Yeah. And then lastly, we got a hologram. Mm. One in 120 packs. So yeah, the printing plate and the hologram were in the same pack, pack. next to each other. Pack two. That's... <clears throat> Oops. <laughs> I'm not I, mad at it. I'm no. not mad at it, guys. I that's, won't lie to you. That's a firebox, I would say. Yeah, absolutely. So those are your big hits. Four serial numbered. Yeah. One got, hologram and a printing plate. Yeah. You got and a broken box. Two micro motions. Yeah. And then all that cheddar. Mm -hmm. uh, right. But, um... Card camp, you've been amazing, quite frankly. So what can I say? Group play out. There we go. Oh, I'm exhausted. Uh, quite frankly, I am exhausted from holding that up so much. Um, <laughs> my arms are killing me. Uh, even if you don't, even if you don't, P I know you don't PC storm necessarily. That's as good of a storm card that, yeah. that you're going to find. Yeah, there was a storm collector, um, Arnoldo, but he's um, he's bailed. He's had to bail out the hobby. Oh no, um, <clears throat> he's filling up, which is a real shame because he's a lovely, lovely guy. Um, but there's been a few of those recently um who've been kind of just finding it a bit much and i think to be fair i think that's that's somewhat testament to the fact that we've had such a um a busy year i think people are so, so, some people are crashing and burning yeah i was almost wondering if there's a you know like at the at the point right now i'm almost overwhelmed at trying to get caught up on certain stuff so like is there a process that you oh. go through to try to do you focus on one one set at a time to try to get stuff together, or do you just keep your eye open on what pops up? What is um, your character collector? I mean, for me, I, I'm just, uh, I mean, Cat has been in so much stuff of late that it, it is, it's been really hard to keep up. Um, I've, I've, I've had to, by necessity, just, just put a few sets on pause, like flare, the lower numbered inserts on flare. I, I just can't do that sort of spending at the moment it's just yeah. not happening um but some of the epac parallels like the Fleer ultra midnight suns the hundred combine to get the gold rainbow of the black cat base yeah i've only just finished and it's taken me about four weeks mm -hmm. so you know it, it's just and i'm trying to do the same for six other characters yeah in that set because i'm going after the beyond beyond uh, beyond key artwork 
um, characters. That's... So I'm doing it for Captain Marvel, Colossus, Cloak, Dagger, Kitty, Pride, oh, that's and right. Captain that's Marvel. Um, I'm not doing Black Panther because... <sighs> and I'm not doing um, Scarlet Witch because the Scarlet Witch in that one genuinely freaks me out. And it's the least Bianchi piece I've seen in a while, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is him, but it's not... Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's a different type of his yeah. style. Yeah. So, um, and I just, I just don't dig it as much. But that's what I'm saying. So I'm, I'm having fun like doing stuff like that because it's more affordable. If that makes sense, mm -hmm. it's doable. Mm -hmm. um, but apart from that, I've just been, I, I mean, I've been giving thought to the what next if the rumors of a license change are true. And this will be the first Ooh. episode where we've ever talked about this. Yeah. Simply because I think I I don't can't remember if I've said openly or publicly. I I don't want to talk about it until it's it's known what's what there is to talk about. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's not it's not I I personally don't feel comfortable speculating on it because a license move like that has real implications on people's jobs and people's careers mm -hmm. you know that's so, a very good point um so you know and i'm sure that if um a license is about to move those people already know and are dealing with the ramifications of that because you know it's, <laughs> it would be already happening but equally i just you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna kind of discuss it in detail until there's something to discuss that's yeah. just the way i, I choose to, to go about it but i have been giving thought to if that happens i will possibly jump off black cat for a bit okay so ease off the gas because it's just been relentless it has been you know, yeah. i've got a holiday to america next year i kind of like to spend the money on something else yeah. Yes, I can tell you. Like it's been, it's been a crazy year with releases, unlike I've seen in a long, long time. Mm -hmm. But I, I typically purchase more of the sets that come out in like the hundred PT stock or thicker. Mm -hmm. Like I'm big on Marvel masterpieces. I'm big on Fleer Ultra Avengers, okay. the original Wolverine. Yeah. Yes, it's it's exactly, and it's the it's the original art in the thick card stock. Um, so for a lot of reasons that's those are usually the sets that i buy into pretty heavy so i haven't gotten too crushed with all this craziness because i'll only get a box of platinum i'll get a box of yeah. you know but if it looks good uh, and you know flair um was fun but you know <clears throat> i wish all the sets were made in the you know 100 pt and all that other jazz and, and their hands forced to use original art every time you know, I, I'm, I don't like I don't like complaining when it's like, oh, it takes a little bit of extra effort to compile. Well, yeah, anything with more effort and extra energy gets puts out a better product. So, yeah, yeah, I, you know, I can get by with a few of these sets having the reused images and things like that, because mm -hmm. some of these images are awesome and they make great cards. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that holds up next to uh, 135 PT original art beautiful parallel you hold the two cards next to each other and mm -hmm. yeah bianchi's black cat on a bed yeah. with other three other cats yeah yeah they look like masterworks mm -hmm. That's... um so yeah this uh, this year has been crazy um but the one thing i can that i'm thinking of is however this shakes out licensing wise and whatever um when the dust settles new opportunities are out there so yeah. whomever takes over the mantle um they create their you know they lean towards certain parallels and certain subsets and things that they do so to whatever end i don't have a crystal ball how it's going to be received but it is a chance for us to get our eyes on some new production mm -hmm. methods some new parallels some new materials printing processes um, cause it's going to be different. Some of the stuff is going to be different. Yeah. Has, has anybody absolutely. thought about like, uh, cause I know, I think we just talked about this the last week or two weeks ago about how they separate the licenses per. So is like, is it possible that now there's a different license between the MCU stuff and Marvel comics? Like maybe one has, I'm uh, no, no, you're, you're, you're right. I remember what, uh, 
who was talking about the verbiage Somebody was, yeah. used specifically. It might have been Ian talking about the verbiage used on. So you can use MCU you trading card set wise when like the Marvel uh, Schwartz and and stuff that's you know different yeah. verbiage. So they're they're who knows how that that all goes. I'm sure there's going to be branching off of the licensing mm. in that yeah. same method. It is interesting. I am. Um... I've forgotten what I was going to say. So it's not that interesting, really, is it? No, no, but I, uh, I, I, I'm keeping my eye on it because I think that yeah. Wes is right. Between MCU, our traditional trading card, or original arts, and whatever else, and then the, the games, the, yes. all the different you know things right. that fit into that category, yeah, yeah. it certainly seems like those are different licensing verbiage and things. So mm. keep yeah. your eyes out because who knows where it's all going to go. And that uh, that Chrome set, I think, is just an EU release, right? Yeah, I've got it up on my screen. I was about to go there, so thank you. Wesley. Really like the art. Um, Shall we have got a look it. at that? Um, let's uh, share what. Really we Really like the art. Um, now, what I find, <clears throat> what I find really um, intriguing about this is that. Uh, oh, will you stop it? You stupid thing! One second. Um, it's asking me questions. Asking me questions. There we go. Can you see what I'm seeing on my screen, boys and girls? Yes. Yes. Good. Um, so um, what I find interesting about this is that Panini have had Marvel Europe rights for quite a while now. Um, oh, so yeah. the fact that Marvel Tops Chrome 2024, which is the first ever, as far as I'm aware, um, well, it's certainly the first time Tops have done Marvel with their Chrome set. I think Tops, trying to remember, were the 70s sets that came out in the mid 70s, those sticker ones, were they Tops? I'm stopping myself from no, saying it's, it's the first time that Tops have ever done a Marvel set because Don I'm Russ, not sure that's true. Is Don Russ. No, they were the sixties no. ones, weren't they? Yeah, I think I think the sixties ones were Don Don yeah, Rust, which I think were Don yeah. Rust. Uh, let me look at the seventies. One second. Hold the line caller. Does Jeff Allender's House of Checklist list things in any sort of order that is date wise? No, it doesn't. Um, but the nineteen seventies ones. I'm trying to find them. I can't find them on this list. Here we go. Marvel Superhero Stickers, 1976. Was Tops. So this isn't the first time Tops have done a Marvel set, um, but it's certainly the first time in, in a lot of our kind of yeah. living uh, experience. Yeah. They've had that digital app for a while, but that's digital cards. I don't know. Yeah, Tops. It's not. Uh, no. Yeah, I looked. Check that out. No, it's not, not, <clears> I went in deep take. on that like a couple years ago, and... Uh, there was a couple cards that I was like, man, I really wish this wasn't just a digital card. Same. Right. They, they had some good imagery up that they were using on some of those. Uh, well, here's your moment. Um, so Tops Crime. So it's a UK only release. Now, I believe there was a Disney release on uh, in through Marvel Europe, uh, through Tops Europe. Um, either earlier this year or last year. And boxes of that could only be ordered to a UK address in the similar way to this. Um, and it was, it went really quickly and boxes are selling for an awful lot of money. And apparently since this launch, which happened yesterday, it was announced on Friday and it happened yesterday. Um, already there are boxes of this on eBay at four, 500 pounds, uh, which is about $600. Now for, for, for clarity there, it cost you 185 pounds to buy one box. And what you had to do is you had to um, apply to join the launch. So what you do is you enter all your details, you register, you give your credit card information, and then it's randomly allotted. So some people were successful, some people were not. Um, hmm. But it has to be a UK address. So uh, I'm sorry, guys, but. <laughs> I, you know, I've seen a couple of people moaning on, on, on the Facebook groups about this. It's like, mm -hmm. how long has it been the other way around? That's a good point. 
Right. Yeah. How long has it been the other way around? So it's fucking turn. Quite <laughs> well, <laughs> you guys get those little Lego characters that we don't get, you know. Well, yeah, we yeah. do. To be fair, you do get the characters. You just get them in the kits. Right, right, right. The you you can get Lego the individual. Yeah, really yeah. All you got to do is hit up Uncle Ian. He'll, he'll, hook, he'll hook you up. Anyway, um, <laughs> but on Marvel Chrome, I can't hook you up. I did um, manage to get two boxes, um, and I got those for a friend who asked me to. Um, I had four other people ask me. There was no way I could do it. You're only allowed a maximum of two if you were successful. Mm. So anyway, so £185, two per customer, and it's run by an Australian thing called EQL, which is equal. So basically it's one entry per person. And like I said, you kind of enter and it's, it's yeah, they just randomly allocate. So you're either successful or you're not. Um, so for the first time ever, the legendary Marvel Comics get the Topps Chrome treatment. Now, there's a 150-card base set. There's 14 parallels. So already this tells oh. you it's big. There's 14 parallels, even if you can get a box. Yeah? So, uh, yeah, it's going to be it's – a, it's a whole different – and you thought some of the sets we've had recently – we're kind of easing you into this kind of way of doing it. How many parallels? Tops, sorry. take this forward. Sorry, we'll come with that. If the rumours are that this is where the license is heading beyond Europe, then this is this is kind of a big deal. Um, and it's going to change massively how products are available. It's going to change the type of products are available and also the way that the sets are made. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to say that, really. Sorry, Wesley. I was just saying, four, 14 parallels. That's How many were in uh, Platinum? Platinum was, um, including plates and one of one, was about 22, I want to say, if you didn't have a variant cover. If you were original art and you had the variant cover, then I think it went up to low 30s. So, that's, that's... because there were... Yeah, there yeah. were parallels of some of those variant covers and plus all the autograph versions of them as well. Um, 14 seems like it's going the sports car direction where they're doing all the... Exactly, yeah. I mean, I guess the nearest parallel in terms of the volume of parallels would probably be uh, Beginnings. Yes. Maybe Allure. Um, yeah. Which I know Allure is had a lot. Um, and this is going to be much more on the Allure spectrum if it's a Chrome set. Um so, yeah, uh, they've also got inserts, Spider-Man Gold, Marvel Icons, Daredevil 60th Anniversary, and Marvel 90s. Plus, inside every box, you'll find a giant-sized chrome box topper card Ooh. celebrating the 50th anniversary of Marvel giant-sized comics. They're going to be gorgeous. Can I just say? <laughs> they get those right. They're going to be really nice. Case hits include Wolverine 50th Anniversary, Indestructible, and... Avengers Infinity plus Tops Patrimony, which celebrates the year a character made their Marvel Comics debut by giving them a Tops baseball design from the same year. Oh, interesting. Okay. Mm. That's good. For example, Hulk will be on the Tops 1962 design because he made his first Marvel Comics appearance in 1962. Hey, guys, let's put something out quick before the other guys do. <laughs> um, you can find now this is the bit this is the bit I don't like. Okay, and there's the images of this. You can find character autographs in Lucky Packs. And yes, it's as if Spider Man had signed it. Or as if Groot had signed it. Who's signing it? That's the thing, I'm not even sure they're signed. I think they might be just like printed signatures. An intern. Yeah. But yeah, some poor sap. I don't think it's Tom Holland, for example, signing this. <laughs> no. Um, I, 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 yeah, I, I, for me, that's totemic teams level of silly. So you know, I've got no interest in those whatsoever. Of course, if they did a black cat one and that popped out on eBay, yeah. I might buy it. But I'm not going to buy this box to get one of those. Um, these include individual characters, dual autographs, and the ultra rare quad autograph card. They've got a picture of that. Also, look out for mask off which is double-sided chrome. On one side is the superhero, then the reverse side is their secret identity. For example, Spider-Man and Peter Parker. Now, Wesley, I just want you to imagine for a moment what could be on a Black Cat version of that. Wow. 
you have that quiet moment afterwards if you need to. <laughs> uh, finally, we're proud to announce, and this is a, this is a big deal. We're proud to announce an exclusive deal with iconic comic book artist Frank Miller. Frank has done 30 exclusive sketch cards for Marvel Chrome, celebrating the 60th anniversary of Daredevil. The legendary artist is also one of the signers for our authentic Marvel comic book artist autograph cards, which also includes Steve McNiven, Andy Kuber, Adam Kuber, plus more. All right. So bearing in mind all you've just said and the fact you can only get two boxes per person if you're lucky enough to have a UK address and you were lucky enough to get in the launch, which has happened, each box contains 72 cards, <laughs> including four numbered parallels. Don't miss out. Well, by virtue of the fact that you've made it such a limited release, almost everyone will miss out. On well, that's okay. um, but um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open the checklist in a separate little window, um, hopefully. Uh, go to that one. Can you still see this window where the checklist mm -hmm. is open? Yes. Right. So there's your checklist. I'm not going to read it out, but I'm going to read out the parallels. You've got Refractor, one in two packs. Spider Web Refractor, number to 399. Blue Wave, number to 150. Green Refractor, number to 99. Green Gamma Ray Wave, also number to 99. Purple Refractor, number to 75. Gold Refractor, 50. Gold Wave, 50. Human Torch Refractor, 39. Orange Refractor, 25. Black Wave, 10. Red Refractor, 5. Red Wave, 5. And Super Refractor, 1 of 1. They can't get through a parallel list without throwing a... a, a yeah. So Don't forget, the value of the may fall as well as rise. What was that? Sorry? The Union Torch Refractor. They can't get through a parallel list without throwing one of them and out there. Is... 39 as well. So, you know, I see what they've done with that. Um, and, yeah, look, Black Cat is in the list, Wesley. Um, and straight away, mm. I'm looking at this, and I'm like, I think this is my stepping off point. I don't know. I mean, if I see stuff on eBay, I might pick up a few, but I'm certainly not going to be going through it. Basically, I'm going to be taking my foot right off the gas. I can't compete anymore for these 50, 39, even 99. Mm -hmm. They're just too expensive. Yeah. That's... It's too much, you know. So I'm going, to, I'm going to chill out and do some other stuff. Listen, you can, we'll, put, we'll put a copy of these links in the tasting notes. You can go and look mm -hmm. them out. We're not going to read out the whole thing. Uh, Marvel 90, Spider-Man Gold. I mean, that's, that's quite a tasty little 10-card 10, 10 job. Yeah, um, that could be quite nice. Marvel Giant size 50th anniversary regular, so you do get regular versions of those, as well as obviously the giant size ones that have been the you know the, the larger format ones, one per box. They couldn't make uh, them nine. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's the vend it's the vendors again. You know, they're being led by the vendors. You know, the vendors are like, oh, you'll waste a little bit of the sheet if you do that. Uh, Marvel icons, Daredevil 60th, which listen, there are elements of this that I think are, are worth checking out. I just think if you try and go for all of it, you drive yourself potty. Um, yeah. yeah, and there's parallels of some of these inserts. Look, Avengers Infinity, there are parallels. Right. Top the limited release there. thing too is just that scares me a bit. Yeah, and but the thing is, I don't know how many boxes. It's a limited release, but how do we know how many? Right. People got them. I mean, it's just odd. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm not going to go through this in in massive, but look at these Marvel character autos. Um, there is Lord's, one. Lord's Where's Hammer there? got his own card. Where? If you go up, oh, just yeah, a little Lord's bit. Hammer. Here. Yeah, it's just one. <laughs> it's just one card. Th one. One of the. Well, he's only got one hammer, I suppose. Um, yeah. yeah. But the here's the comic book artist autographs: Andy Cooper, Steve McNiven, Ryan Stegman, Ryan Ooh. Otley. Joshua nice. Castera, I've not heard of Jason Aaron, Frank Adam Cooper, and Frank Miller. So a lot of these guys have been in Upper Deck in the last right. few years, apart from Frank Miller and possibly Ryan Otley and Joshua Casera. But everyone else, I think, I think Andy, I'm not sure both of the Kuberts were in Platinum. I saw, I think I saw an Upper Deck Kubert brother card on the group the other day. I forgot. Yeah, which, I, forget I can't remember which, which one. one it was. One of them signed for Platinum. Yeah. Um, Anyway, giant size, and there's the giant size chrome ones. I mean, Ryan, Ryan Otley's a pretty big one because yeah. he's popular from Invincible. Oh, that's who that is. Okay, yeah, let's yeah, yeah. see the first Do you want to see some pictures of them? Yes. So there's a, it won't all fit on the screen. Let me open a new tab and then we can see it. There we go. 
So that's a Spider-Man number to 139. So that is... Hold the line. That is the Spider-Web Refactor. And yeah, of Spider-Man. Nice. It does look good. <laughs> yeah. It does look good. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, there's no denying that. Um, and then we have... I'm going to just. I'm just going to open these in new tabs because it's just easier. You can see the whole thing. Human Torch, one of thirty-nine. So that's the um, the Human Torch parallel. The Human Torch yeah. parallel. Yes, it's funny that so it, it, Human Torch refractor. Is that actually a common refractor name for tops? I think some of them are. Yes, I think some of them they're definitely Marvel fired. I don't think they normally have a Human Torch refractor for Star Wars products, for example. Um, but yeah, Google I think that. a lot of them are. Yeah, I think a lot of them are. Let's have a look. Uh, we have Doctor Doom. Uh, I mean, it does look good. Yeah. You know, can't can't deny it. Uh, that is a ref- refractor. No, out of 150, that is a blue wave. That's a blue wave. And yeah, look, blue wave. Yeah. The other side of the card. So I could have probably guessed that without to look it up um who's this that's sunfire so not numbered so i'm assuming that's just a base so i like i like the framing i like the marble yeah. in mm-hmm. such a big you know prominence there yeah you can't you know you can't go can't knock it now this is interesting heroes return Front cover card. Look at that. One of fifty. One of fifty. Now, which one is this? So we're going back to the checklist, folks. Uh, that will be Marvel nineties. Yeah. Okay. I think. I'm not seeing. Hang on. Yes, Iron Man two. That's Marvel nineties. So if they're if they're comic cover cards like that, I'll probably pick up the base. Do you see what I mean? There are elements yeah. of it I'll probably pick up, but. With the boxes being so limited, even those will, will be really expensive, just the base versions, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, oh, look at this. Sorry, let's open this up. That's cool. These are the comic covers I'd want. Those giant size mm-hmm. ones from the 70s, those bronze books. Yeah. They're just amazing. I mean, I don't know if you guys have owned any of those 70s bronze giant size. Um, they are so lovely to, to own. There, there's only one that I want and I can't afford it. Um, what giant size X Men? Yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah, I don't have that one. I have a reprint of it, but yeah, the originals are so nice. They're, they're if you're going to have a small, you know, it's a pretty tight set of them. Yeah. If you were going to try and collect them, um, and it's a really nice way of owning some older books. I, I may have had some. I think was there some Spider-Man ones that kind of took yeah. the place of the annuals for a few yes. years? Yeah, I yeah. had some of I had some of those. Well. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had all those. Yeah. Uh, what we got here? Oh, that's oh cool. this is an autograph card. Let's have a look. Frank Miller. Oh man! Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, that's a cool way to do an auto card there. Yeah, uh, yeah. Strange. I wow. got yeah. That's a pretty stern looking I mean, picture of Frank Miller, but I think most pictures of Frank Miller look pretty stern. I don't know. <laughs> really now this is the one I'm sorry, but a shark jumped. I present to you the quad character autograph card. Uh, you, you know, it it's silly, but if I pulled that, I'd be pretty happy. I mean it's 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 kind of fun, but it is it's dumb, but you know, Hulk, Hulk's needed to be a, a handprint smash. Yeah, right. Yeah. Hulk's well, needed to be a handprint smash. Yeah. Uh, Hulk's never I written down can't. any. I just can't. I mean, Captain America, there's no way a guy frozen in ice for 50 years who spends as much time as he does beating people up has got handwriting that neat and neat and does a little. Um, shoot. See, I'd like I'd like a cap card that was if you're fishing you're trying to go out there like I'd like a cap card that was his um his application to the military <laughs> and, and has his auto at the bottom and shows the date of application for service and yeah, okay. well, well so okay. actually in the 70s or 80s cap was um I think in his site you know off time worked as like an illustrator or like 
worked on some art. I mean, that's a deep cut, but mm. it's not a show. No, you're right. Yeah, yeah, they have, uh, there was a small thing I saw where Wolverine was just a, worked in like a lumber yard or something like yeah, that. Yeah, Peter yeah. Parker yeah, yeah. was just a photographer. No. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Blue collar Marvel. Yeah. Um, I mean, listen, uh, I, apart from that, it, it looks, it looks pretty good. These images. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I have to agree. Um, but this is their, you know, one of their first big swings. So, you know, you, yeah. It takes a little time to sharp sharpen the you know you uh, get figure out what works what 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 feels right they'll make adjustments from here so who knows um i don't know how many people have uh, have bought to break it um i don't know how many people have um bought to open it and sell uh, i don't even know how many boxes though i mean it's impossible to tell what the print run is i mean someone could probably work it out from the checklist and the odds which is available on that site but I'm not the person to do those sums. So someone's probably done it. Um, I haven't seen it posted yet, but yeah, usually someone knocks that out pretty quickly. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. We'll I start mean, seeing it over here. Eventually it'll work. It, I mean, it looks fun. It looks, you know, a little bit, something different. Um, it's got a, the top spin on it and mm -hmm. a little bit different than what we've seen. So, I mean, it looks fun. Mm. Yeah, it does. Wow. Okay. Well, this has been quite quite an episode, guys. What with um, Marvel Beginnings um, Hot Box mm -hmm. yeah. um, and um, Tops Chrome, Marvel Tops Chrome 2024, UK yeah. exclusive. What uh, is, are you not entertained? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say that on is, that one, really. Yeah. yeah. Um, Mox was awesome, and then, don't forget uh, we had the Marvel, the Masterpiece XL at the beginning. Masterpieces too. XL. There is one thing I'm forgetting. There is one thing I'm forgetting, uh, yeah. and it would be very, very remiss of me to forget this. Not least of which because my daughter will probably really, really be upset. So, guys, um, it's not yet time for a rebrand of the podcast. However, my daughter has put in a petition oh. for our new logo. Nice. I like it. Isn't that gorgeous? She's also done two others. <laughs> no. But, um, but um, yeah, she's like, she's like, I want this to be your, your second logo. <laughs> That's nice. Awesome. Isn't that lovely? That's, yeah, it is. Yeah. She's done two already today. Like, one of them's got some crazy coloring on it. But she spent a lot of time over that. She's not. The headphones. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. yeah. So, a couple of different ones where like you pick out your favorite. Yeah. It is derivative, a little derivative of an earlier version of the branding for this podcast. So, yeah. um, but quite frankly, I don't care. Um, <laughs> and it, yeah, it's really sweet of her to do. So, Absolutely. Um, so yeah, Molly Rose is, um, as well as filching that Emma Frost XL card. She's done some new branding. And she's got, I think she's got a good career ahead of her. Oh, yeah. Marketing. I think, I think so, so. here we go. So we're going to put that on the tasting notes for this episode. No, we're going to put it on the uh, on the imagery for this episode. And Perfect. people will be like, WTF is that? They've rebranded again twice in one year. <laughs> but you know what? I think for one episode, we can we can successfully rebrand. Um, sorry, Mike Munshaw. Um, he might be out of a gig. <laughs> she's coming yeah. for you. Yeah, she's going. She's coming after you, Mike. <laughs> she'll be. She'll be. She'll be. Um. She'll be on. She'll be on Tops Chrome 2025 at this rate. Um. Actually, seriously, she's, she's 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 a delight. Sounds um, like she's into it too. If she's done, done two more today, and like she's she's done two more today. Yeah, yeah. she's really she's yeah. really like keen on the idea. Yeah, um, that's awesome. So yeah, no, she she really is. Um. I mean, listen, we're spoiled at the moment, guys, for things to choose to collect. So, um, however you oh, do. Oh, yeah. And here uh, comes a, a Avengers Metal Universe. And Oh, my goodness. Uh, yes. Yes. Avengers Metal Universe. Wow. Okay. Yeah, um, was... I'm hearing reports of hot boxes a go go on that one. Yeah. So. I was, I told you, I went to, uh, I went to my local place that's usually hold stuff for me, but it, he didn't i didn't contact him ahead of time and some guy just wiped him out before i got there an hour before i've, I got there i've heard someone else say this is the same thing about their yeah. lcs as well 
Mm-hmm. So yeah, so I if think. you live in Ohio, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Whoever you are. Yeah. That was that was very wrestler promo of you. Wes. It was. It, no, it had, exactly. Uh, I, you, I, I know that you've been prone to wear spandex in the past. Do you think you could do a WWE 90s style promo for us on Instagram? Uh, like Hulk uh, style. Uh, Hulk Hogan brother. style. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna open up these packs, brother. I could figure well, it out like into camera. Do you think you can pull that one off? <laughs> I, I could. I probably. Or do you could. think Taylor could? Yeah, we we could figure it out. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good. All right. That's your that's your assignment for this week. <laughs> uh, what are you gonna do when Marvel Mania comes for you? <laughs> uh, yeah, you could do all sorts of. Oh, Jason, you write it. It'll perform it. <laughs> that's perfect. Yeah, that's Joshua perfect. on hair and makeup, and I'll be on post. <laughs> uh, Go ahead. What, the um, I don't know who the artist intro was for the audio version this week. You'll you'll have found out by now. You know what? I'm going to put Mike Munshaw up there. Let's give Mike Munshaw a bit of love. He can be at the um, top of this episode. Yeah, since your um, daughter's going to take his job. Yeah, I was going to say yeah, mark yeah, the yeah. moment in time where he's consolation prize. There you go. Where he's getting benched. Uh, bless him. Um, we love you, Mike. Um, seeing as Wesley's agreed to wear spandex, I think it's only fair that Wesley also. Um, ends this podcast episode this week. Clearly. Everybody, uh, except for that guy in Ohio, enjoy collecting. <laughs> <laughs>